everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today, I'm going to be doing another pack with me. Now you guys might be wondering why I'm doing a pack with me so soon from when I just got back from Disney World. That's because we're going back to Disney World. I'm excited, but I do uh, realize I probably am doing this quite often because I do tend to go a lot. Not bragging at all, I promise. We just go a lot as a family, we like to go. That's our vacation place, and this time my dad gets to come with us. So we're going on a family vacation back to Disney World. So I'm gonna start packing. We are leaving in a couple of days. I think a little less than a week is when we're leaving. If you don't know me or what I tend to do with my pack with me's is that I just like to go ahead and pack early just to make sure I have everything ready. That way uh, I'm not stressing out last minute. I don't like to do anything last minute. I do procrastinate, but I like to get my stuff done ahead of time. That way I don't stress out because I hate stress and I'm already stressed as it is. So yeah, we are going, let me think. I always do this and I never remember how long we're going for. So we're going for eight full days at the parks. We are leaving on Friday, which is, today is Sunday. So we're leaving on Friday and we're driving halfway and then Saturday we will drive the rest of the way and we will have kind of almost a full day at the parks that day, but not really because we're gonna be getting there that day so we'll be getting there just a little bit later um, than if we were already there and go to the parks so technically eight full days so I'm gonna have eight outfits why did I do ten I meant <laughs> eight outfits for the parks and then I will obviously need like pajamas and everything like that so I obviously have planned my outfits way ahead of time I am already ahead of the game on that I have outfits planned for specific parks for specific days that is hard to say so I will show you guys those outfits I don't know if I'm gonna go into full detail on which outfits I'm wearing to wear I'll just show you what I'm bringing and then when the vlogs start then I will do an outfit of the day every single day that I'm there so I'll show you guys outfits there so stay tuned for those if you want to see what outfits I'm actually wearing together. I still have majority of my stuff packed from the last trip that we just went on because it was only about a month ago when we went. So yeah, I still have majority of things packed. I have most of my toiletries packed. I have most of my jewelry and everything packed. Um, my clothes are already laid out and ready to go, so I just have to put them in the suitcase. And then obviously the things that I'm not able to pack until the day before, I will not be packing today. But yeah, I'm gonna keep rambling, so I should probably stop and I will show you guys what I'm packing. Okay, you guys, I'm sitting on the floor on the little pillow because I don't wanna sit on the floor. Every time I do this, my back starts to hurt, so. Um, okay, this is loud, hold on. Okay, so here's my suitcase. <laughs> I would uh, zip it up and show you guys, but it's literally the same case I use every time. If you want to see exactly which suitcase it is, feel free to watch any of my Pack With Me videos. I use the same suitcase in every single one of them. I already have the clothes in here, like I said, but they're not folded and they're not put in neatly. I also am going to change some things. So everything in here that I have is not going to be what I'm bringing, so I got to switch some stuff out. Because the weather changes, you know? You gotta change with the weather and the plans change and sometimes you gotta readjust your outfits. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I gotta grab some things and put them in here and then take some things out. So let's just start with that. I'm literally just gonna show you the shirts I'm bringing and then we'll go on to like pants and accessories. Like I'm bringing some sweaters and whatnot. It's probably gonna take me a while to pack so you know I had to get my coffee. Um, I went to Starbucks and I got a coffee. I got the toasted white chocolate, so good. Okay, let's go through everything. I'm just gonna take everything out and then put it back in. All right, I got all my outfits out of the suitcase and now we gotta put them back in. So I'm just gonna start off by showing you all the shirts that I'm bringing, um, if I can find them in this mess. We'll start with this one because I have it right here. This is a shirt that I just picked up at Disney recently. It is a retro The Vault Collection Mickey shirt. Um, I showed this in my Disney haul that just came out a little bit ago. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll link it up here for you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be bringing this. Next, I'm bringing this yellow tube top. Now don't worry, I will not be wearing this on its own. It's just for layering. Okay, I'm also going to be bringing a lot of extra clothing items just in case the weather does decide to change while we're there. Um, so I have some more long sleeve shirts just in case. Um, short sleeve shirts are a little too, they're not cold, but like in case it's too cold for short sleeve shirts. I didn't even know what I was trying to say there. Um, so I'm bringing this like purpley blue long sleeve thermal in case I need to layer some things, you know, I have this as an option. Okay, another backup shirt I have is this 
gray long sleeve soft shirt i'm gonna bring this with me next shirt i have is this red tank top looks like this and i'm gonna bring this with me next shirt i have is another tank top and this is what it looks like it's sparkly it has a little tie for the back so the next shirt i'm bringing is this black tank top bodysuit um i have something to layer on that so i'm not gonna be cold hopefully at night it's supposed to be like low 50s there and when the sun is not out it gets really cold this is the next shirt i am bringing and this is a blue and green like knit tank top i love this shirt so much and then i have this rock and roller coaster tie-dye burgundy red and black whatever this color is t-shirt okay so the next shirt that i will be wearing is this v-neck vest now i absolutely love this and it is sleeveless so it shouldn't be too warm unless i need it to be warm then that would be great okay and then the rest of the things are like accessories not accessories i guess like layering for these items so i have this little fake collar thing that i'm gonna wear underneath the red tank top and probably that vest so i'm gonna bring this okay maybe that's a little better you can see my suitcase just a little bit at least next is gonna be i just have like some sweaters or shirts to wear over top of these just in case it's on the cooler side so i have this red cardigan to wear over the yellow tube top now i don't really know where i'm gonna put these in my suitcase because these things are gonna make everything a lot thicker like that's gonna be thick <laughs> so i might have to figure out something else for these maybe put them in the other side so the next thing i'm bringing is this flannel and i'm just gonna wear this over top of the rock and roller coaster t-shirt okay and then i have this black little sweater that i'm gonna wear over top of the black bodysuit just in case it's cooler and the last little sweater cardigan is this purple striped one that i'm gonna wear over top of the blue tank top okay now we can move on to the pants i'm hoping i can fit them in here i might take these sweaters out for now just to see if i can fit the pants on that side starting i'll just grab the first thing i just have these black jeans that i'm gonna wear with the rock and roller coaster outfit then i have another pair of jeans these are just some regular denim they're high-waisted and i'm gonna wear these with the blue tank top and the sweater the purple sweater okay then i have these brown corduroy pants i'm gonna wear these with the yellow tube top and red sweater all right i have these white pants that i'm going to be wearing with the sweater vest i have these super bright turquoise pants with this cute little detail at the top absolutely love these i feel like these are something harry styles would wear kind of uh feeling that vibe so i'm gonna wear these with the uh retro mickey t-shirt i have these striped black or navy i honestly can't tell and they kind of look like a gray cream color i'm not sure i've never been able to tell what color these pants are but they're just these striped flowy pants i'm gonna wear with the black sparkly tank top two more pants to go i know i'm wearing a different pair of pants every day it's a little excessive but it's fine i have these black and white plaid pants i'm gonna wear these with the red tank top and the last pair of pants are these really cute like brown black design pants i really don't know what you would call this design but these are super flowy and light and i'm gonna wear these with the black bodysuit okay now i have to try to fit these sweaters in okay so there's like a little space at the bottom i think i'm gonna leave that open for like pajamas and everything if i can fit them in there and then i'm gonna have to put these sweaters on this side probably okay i'm gonna go get the rest of my clothes and see if we can fit them in here okay i think i got the rest of the clothes that i need to bring and i grabbed some accessories accessories that i'm bringing like hats belts shoes jackets stuff like that um so i'm just gonna start got my sports bra i need to bring that and then i have two pairs of pajamas i have two pants and two t-shirts now i will be wearing my sweatshirt and my sweatpants in the car just because those are thicker items and i don't want to pack them plus they'll be comfortable in the car so that's what i will wear in the car but i will be bringing those to keep warm with so i'm gonna see if i can fit these in here i should be able to and i think this is all i have to put on this side so i know for a fact the sweaters are not gonna fit but i think at least these will fit okay and i might be able to lay these out on top if i flatten them so at least the flannel is not as thick as like a sweater and this one's not as thick so 
probably do that. These two will have to go somewhere else. So let's see if I can close this side up. You guys can see that. It's pretty full. I might not be able to close this zipper. Yeah, no. Okay. That's what I thought. So I can't close the zipper because they're just, the clothes are too thick. But that's fine. It doesn't have to be shut. Um, I'm going to put my sports bra up in this little pouch up here and i obviously have to do some laundry still because we're not leaving for like almost another week so i have to do like socks and all that um and i'll pack those later so i have a couple hats that i'm bringing hold on i forgot my gloves and yes i will be bringing gloves just in case i need them because you never know one time we went it was so cold in november that i needed glove i needed to buy gloves hat like i was I was freezing. So I have just a regular like, you know, warm beanie hat in case it's that cold. I highly doubt it will be, but you know, just in case you can never be too sure. Um, and then I have a little beret here that I got when I was in Paris. So I'm going to bring this and I have my new uh, 50th anniversary purple bucket hat that I'm going to bring. So those are the three hats I'm going to bring. I'll probably just lay them on this side. So there we go. And then I'm bringing two different belts. I'm bringing a brown belt and a black belt. And of course my gloves, like I said. So I'll probably put the belts up in this zipper on this side. I should put there. And then I have two jackets that I'm bringing. Um, I'm not going to be able to put these in my suitcase. I'm just going to have to like throw them in the car because they're really thick. But I have this Disney fuzzy jacket that I got a long time ago. It has a castle on it and it is navy blue. I'm going to wear this maybe because this is a little bit thinner than the other one I'm bringing. Um, so if it's like not super cold, I'll wear that maybe if I need it. And then I have this really big fluffy jacket that has a big hood. This one keeps me so warm. Like I never feel cold air when I wear this. So if I need this, I will be bringing it just in case. So I'm obviously not going to pack those, but I wanted to show you guys those since I would bring them. And then on to my shoes. So I'm bringing three pairs of shoes because I wore my Nike Air Forces on this last trip and my feet hurt so bad and I cannot believe how bad they hurt. So me being the cheap person that I am, decided to buy some sneakers off of Shein. Now I know what you're thinking. It's like you were super uncomfortable in Nike so you bought Shein cheap sneakers, but I actually bought like gym shoes. So I'm hoping they'll be a little bit better. I also bought inserts from Dr. Scholl's that are for like heel pain because that's where mine comes from. So I'm gonna try them out. I hope they work, um, but I'm bringing two pairs that I got from Shein. So I have these gray ones first. They're super light. Um, I hope they're gonna be comfortable on the heel and on like the sole, but these are waterproof. So if it does happen to rain, these will not get wet. I've tested it. I put a hose over them. Maybe it gets a little bit wet around the sides, but like not nearly as bad as any other shoe probably would. So these are gonna be mostly for the rain in case that happens. And then these ones are the ones I wear the most. They're, it's kind of bright, but they're just these white sneakers. I have my insoles in these right now, or my inserts that are like for heel pain. These are like so comfortable, I hope. I mean, I haven't worn them for long periods of time, but so far they've been really comfortable. So I'm gonna bring those two. And then I'm just gonna bring my white vans because I feel like these aren't that uncomfortable and maybe if I put the inserts in them, they'll feel even better. So if those two shoes are awful, then I will probably just wear these. I'll probably wear these in the car because they're gonna be the hardest to actually pack in here. And then I might be able to just slip these into these like shoe pockets here. They're thick on the heel, but the top is like super movable and soft. So I'm gonna try to stuff these in. Hey, they fit. Okay, so I'll put those in there and then I'll put the vans on the other side. I need to grab my other vans. These are my old ones, so they're like really messed up. So I'll grab those later and put them in. And then these I'll leave out to wear. Okay, so that's that so far. This is crazy. It's so full and so heavy already. I feel like my suitcase is gonna fall apart. Okay, let's go do the toiletries. Now, I feel like the toiletries are the hardest part because that's something that you can't really pack all of until like the day before. So I'm just gonna try to pack as much as I possibly can and hopefully I remember everything I need to pack because I feel like this is where you could forget things. So let's empty this all out first and then I will go through and put things that I need back into it. Okay, so this is the toiletry bag that I use every single time we go. Uh, I'm just gonna start with like my routine and uh, yeah, we'll just do that. So obviously I need toothpaste. Now I like to bring these little mini ones, but I never know if it's like enough. So I might just bring this like clip 
toothpaste on if you could tell because these are like a little bit thinner so maybe i'll just bring this because i feel like i'm gonna run out of the little ones when i bring them i have my toothbrush can't pack it right now so i'll just pack it before we leave i have my deodorant i actually need to use this like now so i'm just gonna throw it on the top of this no you know what? i'm gonna leave it out i'm gonna leave it out and then i will put it in here before we leave yeah we'll just do that okay what's next i have my face wash i need that and then the moisturizer the, the cap always comes off i always lose the cap but there is my moisturizer bring in that and then i have my serum and my night cream. Oh, I need my lotion. So I'm gonna bring a lotion with me. Oh, this has my, what is this? This has my shampoo. I always do this. I always forget what's in these. It smells like my shampoo though. Okay, so my shampoo, my conditioner. Yeah. And my hair cream. I obviously need to bring those cause I gotta wash my hair. My shaving cream and my razor i can't really pack my razor because i do need to use it but yeah i'll leave that out and then pack it before we go i have extra razors here i don't know if i'm gonna bring these or if i'm just gonna change it out before i leave probably just change it out before i leave then i have my eyelash serums i use these every night so i gotta bring these i've just started using them again and i haven't really seen too much of a difference yet but I haven't been using them for too long so i have my perfume bring that i have this little spray bottle i used I used to. I usually put water in and spray my hair every morning. So I need to bring that. And then this needs a soap. Um, do I have a soap? The problem with this is you can't put a new soap in these because it doesn't fit. So I'm going to have to just open a new soap, use it a little bit before we go, and then put it away. Maybe the one in my, in my shower right now will work. Hold on. No, that was, that was too low. I don't want to bring that because I don't want to run out. Um, yeah, I'll just put one in when it gets a little bit closer. Um, what else do I need? I need makeup remover wipes. Now, I'm going to use these up until we leave, so can't bring those with me uh, right now. And then same with my hairbrush. I need to use this up until we leave, so I'm going to have to pack that later. Um, I guess I could put these in my suitcase and then just take them out when I need them because I don't need those all the time. I honestly think that's it for right now. Um, if I remember anything, you know, I'll put it in here, but I pretty much have everything in here that I need. So we're going to zip her up and go put this in my suitcase. Okay, so the next thing we have to pack <laughs> is my makeup and that should be super quick because I'm not bringing a lot. So let's go pack that. So I have come to learn that wearing makeup at Disney during the pandemic is not ideal because you have to wear a mask. So... Um, I've been wearing less and less makeup to Disney every single trip that we go and this time I finally decided I'm not really gonna wear a lot of makeup at all. Sometimes I'll wear concealer, bronzer, and I'll fill in my eyebrows. We're going to the bare minimum this trip. So I'm definitely not bringing a lot. Let me get my smallest makeup bag that I own. <laughs> if I find a smaller one, I'm going to switch it out. But this is the same makeup bag I use every trip. It's from Harrods and I'll show you the makeup I'm bringing. I'm going to be bringing a blush this is a Burt's Bees blush in toasted cinnamon now this color is kind of like a tan no what do you call this color um like a terracotta there you go a terracotta so it's like kind of bronzy kind of peachy and this works really well as like a blush bronzer so I'm gonna use this for blush slash bronzer and then I'm just gonna bring my blush brush for that now I will be bringing my eyebrow glue by NYX it's not literally a glue but it's called the brow glue it's just eyebrow gel i got a new one this one's like almost gone so i'll probably just go ahead and pack the new one I'm just gonna rip into the box there we go brand new then i'm gonna bring my eyebrow pencil just in case probably won't use it but i'll bring it just in case and then i have my uh what do you call this lighter and eyelash curler and then this is new and i think i might bring an extra just in case but i've been using this essence lash and brow gel mascara it's literally just a clear brow and gel mascara gel brow and gel mascara it's just a clear brow and like eyelash mascara i've been using it as a mascara i wore it today it's not too bad but your eyelashes fall when you wear a mask anyways like mine droop so 
I don't really care. And it's just nice not to have to wear mascara all the time. Like this comes off a lot easier with makeup remover and it doesn't smudge throughout the day. So, so far I really like it. It's from Essence. I don't know if I said that. It was only like three bucks. But I'm gonna bring this and then I'm gonna bring my Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Waterproof just in case, but I'm gonna try not to use it. And that's literally all I'm bringing. That's all for makeup. So let's go put this in my suitcase. So I'm also going to be bringing this little mirror. I found this in my drawer somewhere. It's like a double-sided mirror and it has a light that does not work. Oh yeah, it does. It kind of works. You can't see it right now. But I'm going to bring this because I need a mirror to use when we are at the hotel um, to do my makeup. That way I don't have to be in the bathroom and we can all use the bathroom. <laughs> so I'm going to bring this. I'm trying to think of the next thing I have to get would be probably my jewelry and stuff so let's grab that okay so i do have my jewelry still in this little case um i have the exact same jewelry that i had on my last trip i have some scrunchies in here I have a hair clip um the only thing i'm going to take out would be these little bracelets because these were specifically for my outfits so i'm just going to take these out i gotta grab some more hair ties i have three hair ties in here and i want to just make sure i have enough so i'm gonna grab some more hair ties real quick and i'll be right back okay so i got some more hair ties I I also got a little bit more jewelry that I forgot to put in here and that's pretty much it. I mean, I'll try to show you in here, but it's just full of hair clips, hair ties, bobby pins, and some like random rings and things. Rings and things. Cute. Rhymed. I'm gonna go ahead and pack some of my suitcase because this is all done. And then I don't think I have that much left to pack. I want to say I just have to pack my backpack. And I will show you guys um, my ears that I'm bringing. And I'm bringing the same magic bands I always bring. I just have like four magic bands. And then I'm bringing all my masks just so I can like pick and choose what I want to match my outfits while I'm there. So yeah, I'll show you those next. Okay, so I grabbed all my ears to show you guys. And I forgot one more hat I will be bringing. So I'm gonna bring this like giraffe Animal Kingdom hat to wear with my uh, brown and black pants. Super cute hat. And then these are all the ears I'm gonna be bringing. So I got these Winnie the Pooh ears and my last trip. These are shown in my Disney haul. If you wanna see more about them, then go check that out too. These like blue ears, these Dalmatian ears that are also new, <laughs> these plaid fuzzy ears, and my Spaceship Earth Epcot ears. So those are all the ears I'm bringing. And then I will be wearing the couple hats that I've showed you. I'm gonna put those in the clear ear box that we usually bring. I guess we can just start packing my backpack now. I don't really know what's gonna go in my backpack at the moment, but yeah, we'll just figure that out together. Also, I'm bringing like a bunch of Loungefly backpacks. I would show you them right now, but they're already in boxes, like ready to go. Um, me and my mom are sharing some, so we just brought like all of our favorites that we're gonna be wearing. But let's go ahead and back pack my backpack. I'm like getting delirious because of I've been doing this for so long. I'm just, ugh. I hate packing. All right, let's go. It's starting to get late and I'm starting to kind of lose some a little bit. So I gotta hurry this process up. This is the backpack I'm bringing. Just got everything in here that I cannot fit in my suitcase or that I need with me on the ride over. So I'm just gonna start by seeing what's in here because I have stuff in here still. And then uh, we'll just figure out what I need to put in. So. This is my charger bag. Um, it'll have all my chargers in it. Can't pack any of my chargers right now because I still need them. So we're just gonna have to pack that before we leave. Um, this is like my USB hub thing. So I gotta bring that. Now, oh my goodness, I have all of my face masks in here and my magic bands. Uh, so here's a whole bunch of face masks. I think I have more too. Oh, here's some magic bands I'm bringing. More face masks. Oh, here's a little door opener thing. I actually really like that. Oh, these are for my glasses. I'm gonna bring this. Now, I got new glasses. These ones actually change like with the sun, you know? They turn into sunglasses. So I'm gonna be wearing these like the whole time. But this is really nice if you like want to take them off. What else is down in here? Oh, I got glasses case. These are some... Oh, there's nothing in there. <laughs> Another mask. I also have this thing. I just found this. This is brand new. I just bought it. It is a magnetic MagSafe. The iPhone 12s have MagSafe on the back, so they're magnetic. And this magnetizes to your phone. It says the battery percentage right here, and it has like a little ring you can hold. 
it's a portable charger and I love that. So I'm definitely gonna be bringing this and testing it out and hopefully it works. Okay, so let's put the face masks back in here. I'm just gonna throw all of these back in because I will probably wear all of them. And I think I have more I actually need to put in here. I know it sounds crazy, but I do have some more. I'm going to put my chargers like whatever I have in this baggie and then I'll put that back in my suitcase or my suitcase in my backpack. I have my portable charger. I'm gonna put that in one of the front pockets. Speaking of front pockets, I found another magic band. And what else did I find in here? A phone case. Great, so I'll put that in there. All right, and then um, I'm gonna put my magic bands in this pocket with my charger. Okay, and then I have this thing I just bought. So it is a little ring light for your phone. Um, I'm gonna be using this for vlogging. So I'm gonna try to use my phone to vlog this trip just cause it'll be easier and I feel like I'll vlog more if I'm using my phone. Um, and I've been struggling with getting a microphone that actually works at the parks. That's small enough for me to like stick in my backpack or a little purse. Um, and the one I have right now is fine for when it's just me talking to the camera. I feel like it works great. But when I'm at the parks and I'm around a lot of people, it tends to pick up more on the sound around me than myself. So I'm gonna try to vlog with my phone. I'll still bring my camera just in case, but I'm most likely gonna be vlogging on my phone. So I thought this would be nice for nighttime. If I'm vlogging something at night, I can use this on my phone and y'all will be able to see me better. I'm gonna bring that and then let me see if there's anything else at the moment. Like I said, it's kind of hard to, to pack stuff right now. Um, I'm still a little bit ahead of my trip, so I wrote some stuff down. My camera stuff, I'm gonna bring it, but I cannot pack at the moment. My chargers, I can't pack those, and my iPad, I can't pack right now. The next thing I'm gonna pack then is whatever I had in my backpack from my previous trip. So this is stuff that I will be putting in my backpacks every day. Um, so I have a little Lysol bottle. Oh, I have a hair tie, great, can always use that a chapstick and band-aids, band-aids in case, you know, blisters and things. Got a portable charger, I'm gonna bring that. That way I have two portable chargers and I can charge my phone more. Uh, since I will be vlogging on it, it'll probably die a lot faster. I have gum, love bringing gums to, gums to the park, gum to the parks. What else? Oh, I have a little koozie in here. Uh, I have a fan, probably won't need that, so I'll leave that in there. And uh, my disposable camera, gotta bring that. Gotta finish it up so I can get it developed. Oh, and then I have a little thing of Advil, even though it's in a Tums container. It's a great thing to use for Advil, if I'm being honest. It works perfectly. And then my last thing is my new 50th anniversary magic band. It's so pretty, I love it. So I'm gonna bring that as well. And I think that's it for now. That's everything out of my backpack. If I forgot something, I'll probably pack it throughout the week, but at the moment, that's all I can think of to pack. Okay, so there we go. There's my backpack for now. really don't think there's anything else for me to pack. Like, I think that's it. And I'm starting to lose the sun, so I need to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this pack with me. That's everything I can pack at the moment, so I hope you guys like this video. Please stay tuned for the vlogs that will be coming out. I'm super excited to go on this trip, and I cannot wait to vlog for you guys because I honestly love vlogging my Disney trip so much it's so much fun and I know you guys love it too so I can't wait for that give this video a, a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below that way I can interact with you guys love talking to you guys I have been not seeing a lot of your guys's comments recently and I would love to see more because I want to talk to y'all also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet and I will see you guys when we're at Disney bye <laughs>